now he's written many, many books. He is truly an expert and a resource for the for our area. We're really um, blessed to have such a resource. Please stop by his store across from Kroger on West Saginaw and just browse through and see what he has. At this time, let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Bob McCauley. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you having me. It's always an honor to, to come to events like this and talk because uh, when we're eating raw foods and we're talking about raw foods, um, we're talking about health. And, and, and from my perspective and what I believe is when you're talking about uh, health, you need to be talking about raw foods. And that's it. I don't sell any extracts or concentrates. I don't sell supplements. I don't sell vitamins. I do sell minerals, and I'm going to get into that and tell you why. But uh, <clears throat> I don't sell the, the normal things that, that sort of mainstream health um, promotes because it really doesn't bring us to health, and that's all I'm about. So my, my message is very, very simple, and, um, and health is very, very simple. A lot, of, a lot of people try to make it really complicated, and it doesn't have to be. Um, health is very, very simple, and what you're doing here today is one of the key components. I actually have seven components to my health protocol, and I'll go over to each one of those with you and why I, why I promote those. Um, I've given them a, a lot of thought, <coughs> And uh, I actually, I mean, basically what I promote is my lifestyle. What, what, I, what I live and what I find uh, healthy um, is what I promote and what I sell. Um, and, um, and it's about the end of it. I don't really talk about anything else that doesn't relate to health. Um, I have a lot of detractors. I have a lot of uh, people who really, um, you know, don't like what I'm doing. I got a lot of YouTube videos if you go to uh, YouTube and type Bob McCauley, you'll come up, I have dozens of videos on there, and you look at some of the comments, and you know, I, I you won't see the really nasty ones because I delete them, uh, or the threatening ones because I delete them, and I tell them stop calling me names and, you know, argue with me, but, uh, and debate me, but don't call me names, uh, and don't threaten me, and, uh, but that's what you find out there, and I get those comments all the time, every week I, I find some, but then I also get comments from people saying, wow, I've done this, this is part of my lifestyle. This is incredible. I love it. So um, I'm author of actually, I think six books. And um, thank you. Um, my first book I don't have here today, but it was Confessions of a Bodybuilder, Bo Confessions of a Bodybuilder, Rejuvenating the Body with Ionized Water, Spirulina, Chlorella, uh, and Raw Foods. And um, this is my second book, Achieving Great Health. This has got a forward by Dr. Gabriel Cousins, who's a medical doctor and a raw foodist. He's out in Patagonia, Arizona. Uh, incredible guy. I had him on my radio show, Achieving Great Health, uh, four times. I had a very close connection with him. We, we, he's been to India. I've been to India. Uh, I really have a great passion for Ayurvedic medicine and Ayurvedic herbs. Uh, I'm really beginning to integrate those into my health protocol. Um, herb, herbs are incredibly powerful foods, and they're, they're really the most powerful foods we have other than algae, and I'll get into that. Um, but this has also got a, an introduction by Peter Ragnar, a raw foodist. Um, he, he doesn't have a doctor or any letters after his name, and people ask Peter all the time, uh, what are your credentials? And Peter is a, somewhere in his 80s, he won't really tell anyone, uh, and he says, I'm my own credentials. So if you see him, uh, see him and you know him, uh, you look on YouTube, you'll see some videos. Uh, he's a pretty incredible guy. I had him on my show 20 times. I was the first person to ever, ever interview him on any kind of radio or television show. And he liked it so much he came on 20 times. I had him on every Friday on my show. I did my show, Achieving Great Health, uh, radio show for uh, uh, two and a half years. And um, I did a television show here locally called Achieving Great Health. And it was on public access. and. Uh, uh, that was on, I probably did that about six months or so, um, so it was available. And this has got my entire health protocol and really everything I talk about except minerals and the need for minerals and that's the only part of my health protocol that's not in here. Um, my next book was The Miraculous Properties of Ionized Water. I promote that <clears throat> ionized water very, very heavily. Um, I'll talk about it briefly. I brought a, brought a water ionizer, it's really just a kind of a shell, but just to show you how, how it works of what ionized water is and how it mimics the same qualities of raw fruits and vegetables. 
and why we want to put something this kind of a substance into our body. Again, all what I promote is nature. I don't promote anything that is not outside of nature. And that comes to my next book, which is Honoring the Temple of God, a Christian Health Perspective. It is, um, it's, I don't get heavily into the Bible. It doesn't really have uh, verse after verse after verse. Um, I, it's really just got a few verses in it. One of them, of course, are, um, from Jesus himself, destroy this temple. I will raise it up again in three days. But the body, the temple he has spoken of was his body. That's John 2.19. Um, and that was Jesus talking about his body and basically saying, um, you can destroy my temple and three days later I will, I will, raise, I will, I will resurrect myself. And that's what, that's what he was referring to. But the idea of the temple uh, and what is God has given us is so important because um, disease is a result of not honoring our temple. And that's, the book, that's my message in this book. If you're sick, it's because you have allowed yourself to remain sick. <clears throat> and all you need to do is stop putting the wrong things in your body, start putting the right things into your body, and uh, you'll no longer be sick. And so we'll get into exactly what I'm talking about when I say that. But uh, in this book, I do talk about angstrom minerals, and I'll get those into, into detail, what angstrom minerals are, and, um, and, and why they're so important, and why they're critical to our health. Um, I, I really very, very carefully think out everything that I do. Um, I stand behind everything I do. This is some of the YouTube comments. There are also a, a lot of blogs, people, again, su very, very strong supporters and very, very strong detractors. Uh, you know, when you're doing something, when you're talking about the truth, um, and that's what I try to talk about when I'm talking about health, when you're talking about the truth, you will have a lot of detractors. Um, you'll have a lot of people that don't like what you're saying. But uh, anyway, that's, um, I'm very proud of that book. Uh, what kind of minerals did you say you're they're, they're angstrom minerals, and that refers to the size. Angstrom. Angstrom. Ang I'll, I'll get into that. It refers to the size, the atomic size of the minerals. I just minerals. wanted to spell it. Okay. Uh, A-N-G-S-T-R-O-N. Correct. Yeah. 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 Um, and so, um, anyway, uh, very proud of that book. Again, just showing us that we need to res be responsible for our health. And, um, and, and just this idea that, well, I got cancer. How, why was I so unlucky? Uh, getting cancer, uh, getting fibromyalgia, uh, becoming a diabetic, um, you know, getting uh, multiple sclerosis, any disease is the result of your actions. Now, we don't r really believe that. We haven't been taught that, but uh, that, that's really what it's all about. So it's really a, a message of empowerment, and, uh, but it's also a message of personal responsibility. And it's a message that a lot of people in the Christian community do not want to hear. Uh, I happen to be a Catholic, you know, I mean, you know, Catholics will preach all day about spirituality and then go downstairs and, and have cookies and processed foods and all the, you know, and coffee and all the, some of the worst foods you could possibly have. And that's very typical of church events. So um, I've been to some church events and, uh, you know, there's a chicken dinner or something and it's quite, a lot of these people quite often don't really want to hear what I have to say um, because I'm telling them what they're putting in their body they're doing strictly for their taste and not for honoring the temple that God's giving them. And when we eat foods like this, we are honoring God's temple. And, and the reason is, is because God grew these foods and then, um, and, and then we, we should eat them. Um, and I tell people all the time, if God grew an apple, he didn't, in, he, we were, he, didn't invent a, he didn't grow a frying pan. We invented that. We're, you know, we're the ones who think we're going to take it to the next level. We're going to make this better. We're going to put all these seasoning. I mean, these cooking shows, um, I, I saw one this morning, and I hadn't seen this person in a long time. And I won't mention the name, but it was on the Food Channel. And I mean, boy, she's not looking very good. And uh, it's because if you look at what she cooks, it's just, you know, um, garbage. It's just about processed food. She opens cans and packages and, and, you know, ketchup bottles and puts this all together. And, and it tastes great, and it's easy, and you can do it in 20 or 30 minutes or whatever. But that brings disease. Um, people uh, who come to work for me, um, if they get sick, they always hear the same thing. I always ask them, you know, they got a cold, they got a flu, they, they've been sick for months. I said, you know what causes that? And they said, no, what? I said, well, eating cooked foods. Eating cooked foods brings on all diseases. The most thing, the thing that, um, that brings on more disease than anything else is, is dehydration. People don't drink enough water. And so that's the number one thing we need to, um, to talk about. I didn't bring my raw food.